Martin Jarman is joining us now, the director of athletics at UCLA down on the field. Martin, I'm sure you heard the tail end of that. That's got to make you smile when you hear a student athlete at UCLA speak like Bo Calvert. That's awesome. And, and I also agree, we could have a whole – uh, series about the pyramid uh, curriculum. I like that. I like that idea. I was like, that's kind of interesting. All right, Mark. <laughs> Remember me on that. <laughs> I give you credit. I give you credit. Right, well, we have to give you credit on the Westwood Exchange, right? Take us through what's going on with name, image, and likeness, and what you just launched a day ago. You know, first of all, name, image, and likeness has been huge. We've always been positive about it for our student athletes to give them the ability to profit off their name, image, and likeness and learn. Uh, business, tax, uh, their brand. So it's always been a positive. But, you know, when, when the new legislation started, we know we wanted to get out there and make it easy for fans, donors, alumni, businesses to just connect directly with our student athletes. And that's what Westwood Exchange is. We it's just pretty, launched it. It's pretty fascinating, right? You can just go online, submit your idea. I, I, I tried it last night. And then kind of figure out right, what athlete do what I like to partner with. It, it seems as simple as, as anything as we look at the graphic here on screen. Yeah, I mean, think about this. Less than 24 hours, we already have 50 companies, businesses, uh, fans sign up already, connecting directly with our student athletes. And you know, we feel like we have the best and the brightest, the most talented students in the country. And so what better way to just make it easy for everybody to connect directly with them, all, uh, all above board, and, and we have a, a, a record of it that does back a house with the exchange, um, does the 1099 forms, does that thing, so it makes it easy for both parties to just come together. Martin, I know you didn't, no one dreamt of getting into this business thinking this was going to be your, your focus, right? But if I could be serious, just for one question here, how are the guardrails being built and how long do you think it will take before we have the guardrails necessary to enter this new era? Anytime you have something new, there's going to be bumps in the road. It's a little chaotic, uh, but it usually over time sorts itself out. You know, I, I don't know about the guardrails as far as a time for it. I know we need some. Right? We need some kind of level of consistency. Uh, but for when that comes, I have no idea. The only thing that I can control is what UCLA does, and we're going to make it very easy for people to connect directly with our student athletes and, and uh, make deals, right? And that's what it's about. So, you know, I've always said we don't want to be the very first to do something, but we want to learn. And then we want to be early adopters and then leaders. And that's what we plan to do with Name, Image, and Likeness. Well, you become leaders in bringing people that didn't begin their college career at UCLA to UCLA via the transfer portal. Guys that have had incredible academic standing coming in here. And then your graduate program on coaching and leadership. What have you noticed about the impact it's had on players like Bo Calvert, who's almost finished with it, and guys who just got started like Jake Bobo? Well, I mean, you look at how many guys we had uh, in the graduate program last year. I think it was like 16 or 17. So, you know, it's just a great opportunity to further their education at the number one public school in the country. You know, and, and so it, it allows us to get older, too, and more veteran, which, which is what we need. And then the transfer portal, um, you know, Chip has done an unbelievable job uh, utilizing that with guys that are high character and, and play contribute uh, significant minutes. And uh, with, the, with the grad program, we've worked really closely with the School of Education, really happy about that partnership. Uh, and we increased the number of spots so we can actually uh, do even better as far as uh, attracting young men and young women into that program. So I'm really excited. And again, it's a partnership with the university and the School of Education, which has been great. I know you have a lot on your plate, but I feel like at the top is relationships. Chip Kelly, that relationship gets extended for a few more years as the head coach. And then Dorian Thompson Robinson, he decides to come back. I know you've been tight with him. What can you speak to about the extension and also your relationship with Dorian and how he's grown coming back for another season? Well, you know, I think I think the best is yet to come for Chip. You know, I think we did a great job last year. His leadership, just handling everything with the pandemic and and uh, winning eight games last year, a lot of momentum and energy. Uh, and now we've got a lot of new guys on the defensive staff. Um, it's almost it's probably half the defensive staff is different. And there's just the energy and the vibe that's really cool. Uh, but Chip is one of those coaches that. He, he does it the right way. I don't have to worry about anything. Um, and he represents UCLA uh, really well. So I'm excited to build upon last year. Uh, and then Dorian, he's a special player, man. He, I, I, Dorian's a better person than player, though. I don't even want to talk about him as a player. We all know what he's capable of. But the kind of person he is, the growth that I've seen since I've been here uh, of Dorian, just from a leadership perspective, just from caring about others, taking care of his business, um, you know, it's just been amazing. That's what it's about to see guys come in and grow and develop. And um, I, I'm just so proud of him 
Um, he's going to do great things, whatever he chooses to do, not only just this year. Again, I don't even want to talk about him as a player, as a person. He's A+. Plus. And, Martin, that's so well said. That's the vibe we've had being around this program and the culture Chip has created. I know the culture gets thrown around, but it's so accurate here. It's wonderful to hear you say that. And, by the way, am I right about this? Did I read 140,000 applicants to the best <laughs> public school in the country? <laughs> hey, it's, it's, it's well above 130,000. 35,000. It might be 140, <laughs> but it's the most. That's what I know. And so it's a place that everybody wants to be. And, um, you know, that makes it great being here in Westwood. Unbelievable. Martin, a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Go Bruins.